family members are dead and another child seriously injured after a suspected DUI crash late last night in Sutter County. Mike Laurie reports. We went through this way, down here from the tree. John Cooney heard the truck that was speeding down Highway 113 late last night. We were in the house and we heard a bunch of braking and a big noise. That noise was the sound of a Chevy avalanche crashing into this trailer home where a family of four was sleeping. The impact killing the two parents and a 10-year-old boy. An 11-year-old girl was airlifted to UC Davis Medical Center where she is clinging to life. The driver of the vehicle appeared to be under the influence, Cooney told KCRA 3. The, uh, the driver was drunk. The California Highway Patrol says the driver was intoxicated and traveling too fast when he failed to negotiate the S-curve in the road. The CHP has identified him as 33-year-old Ismael Wazo Hardinas, who is now in the Sutter County Jail and facing multiple charges. Uh, Mr. Hardinas was arrested on suspicion of alcohol impairment DUI, as well as three counts of vehicular manslaughter. The father killed in this tragic accident was 38 years old, the mother just 34, and their son only 10, identified as the Pacheco family by the landlord here. Model family, two very hardworking parents, farm workers, well-behaved kids. They are, were, I would say, my top five tenants here. Very good people, pay their rent on time. Trailer Park is located just a few feet from a heavily trafficked roadway, and neighbors say it has been the scene of other crashes, and they want a guardrail placed here or some other form of protection. We want to put a bar so we could, like, this won't happen again. But for now, the focus is on the family that lost three lives, and UC Davis Medical Center confirms the daughter is in critical condition. Definitely if you out alcohol um, and speed, it, it's a recipe for disaster.